Can you talk about just the improvement of the offensive line overall, especially now with you back, um, maybe there being a chance for more continuity and, and just even those things allowing the offensive line to improve? Yeah, um, having the continuity is, is really important on the offensive line and particularly with the guys you know that are playing right now, everyone's played a lot of football. So you have your verbal communication, which is, um, you know, happens quickly and is very straightforward. You know, you make a certain call and everyone knows what the call is. But then after that, there's a level of kind of nonverbal communication or um, like feel in a rep, right? Of like, hey, this guy goes inside wide. You know, I trust that my center is right there so I can just pass him and, and look out to the next guy. So I think those, those things have been really important for us. And um, as we go, you know, you expect that to get better and better. And as the season has gone, I think our level of play has, has improved a lot, which is really important to the, to the offense's success. But how has that continuity maintained through the injuries and, and even you getting back into the line and having that protection excel? How do you keep that train rolling more or less to follow moving parts? Uh, not being content is, is the most important part. Um, you know, we had a pretty, pretty solid game of pass protection yesterday. And um, just going out you know, this coming week and, and understanding that, hey, it's a different defensive scheme, different players up front. Um, so we have to make sure that we're on top of everything, make sure that, that communication and understanding of the schemes rock solid. And then after that, it's you know individually trying to improve, like, you know, hey, last week I got beat on this move. Why did I get beat? Um, improving those technique things. Um, and that's an, on an individual basis. And just trying to hold each other accountable, right? It's like, hey, I need to work on this. You need to work on this. Like, let's let's get it together after practice, or if we need to go out a few minutes before practice and get a couple reps. It's making sure you do the little things to to stay on top of it. And speaking of individuality, I mean, the way that Andre speaks play, you've been asked about it before, but what have you seen from him week to week? The, the way he's been excelling at left tackle. Yeah, he's done a really good job against some really really good players. Uh, I think it's very obvious um, physically. You know, he's su super talented, super gifted. Tall, got great length, great power, great lower body strength, which are really, really good qualities to have. And each week he's just gotten better. So it's he's done a really good job of you know stepping up to that challenge and, and going out. And at left tackle, you're getting a lot of a lot of one-on-one -on -one blocks where the quarterback can't see you to evade. So he's done a he's done a great job for our team. What would be this is kind of general uh, big picture, but what would be your sense of what you, know, you just passed halfway in the season? What is what what have you learned? What do you think the team has learned about itself and accomplished at this point, and how does that set you up for what remains? I think we've, sadly, uh, in the worst way, learned from our own mistakes, and in a, in a sense of like you know, on offense, particularly early in the year, we beat ourselves uh, with penalties, with uh, some turnovers, with kind of miscommunication or misassignments, um, things like that, and we've seen that kind of trend in the right direction. And I think we've seen, we have seen on both sides of the ball what we can be, you know, the points we can score and the type of defense that we can play. I think where, we're, where we are right now is understanding like, hey, we all need to do that together. Like, let's not make this so hard, right? Like, you know, the defense in the first half gave a few touchdowns. The offense was able to score a few touchdowns to kind of keep it, you know, a tight game. Um, you know, let's just make this more like a Patriots game where the defense comes out ready to play, the offense comes out ready to play. And I think when we, have that kind of complete team game. We've seen what we can be. And so just keeping that in mind, like, hey, be accountable, like do our job. Offense as a whole, we need to do our job. Defense as a whole, they need to do their job. And so we're excited about the potential that we have because at times we have shown the kind of offense and defense that we can be, but it just needs to, it needs to happen all together. And what's stopped it from being all together through all four quarters on Sunday? Um, you know, that's hard to say. Uh, we just got done watching the film, but um, at times, you know, it's, I mean, just making sure you're coming out ready with the game plan, understanding, you know, how the, how the team's going to attack us. Sometimes early in a game, it's kind of an unscouted look or maybe a new wrinkle from an offense or a defense. You know, maybe they're giving us a new pressure that we haven't seen. So it's just having our rules down cold that way, because if your rules are, if your rules are solid, you can adapt to whatever the offense or defense is doing, right? But if you're maybe a little unsure or, you know, not totally confident, not doing your assignment 100%, then, you know, you're going to have a guy open or we're going to have a free runner at our quarterback or things like that can happen. So it's, it's just, you know, continuing to, to put the time in and the effort in and the, and the game plan and um, execution, knowing that if we each do our job, uh, most of the time we're going to have success.
what emphasis is did you guys have about getting points off turnovers? I mean, you leave with 24, you win. The defense did force five, though. Yep. They get a touchdown in every single one of those possessions. What conversations were had about that? Just missed opportunities. Um, defense has given us the ball. I mean, it's five extra possessions in a game. I think you expect to score more points than we did. Um, so just understanding, like, hey, when they get us the ball, we, we have to score points. Obviously, the goal is a touchdown, but at the end of the day, like, we need to move the ball, advance the ball, and get points on the board. Um, and it, yeah, it was just, it was, it was lack of execution. I think a couple times we might have had a three and out, like, right after a turnover um, and really, really good field position. So just knowing that, hey, like, when we get the ball on a short field because of a turnover, we need to take advantage. And that just, you know, the, the turnover is a huge momentum builder. And then if you score off of that, man, it's just like it really stacks on top of the stuff. James, you might be old enough to remember Frank Gibbard as a broadcaster, but certainly not as a football player. Yeah. So, um, I mean, see Taysom do something that hasn't been done since, like, the 60s. Um, is that surprising you at all? Or? I, don't, I don't know if um, it surprises me just having been around Taysom so long and seeing all the different abilities he has and the way that our game plan utilizes him. I think it's really important. It seems like when, when Taysom's you know, running here, throwing here, blocking here, um, kind of all those different looks, we're having success on offense. And obviously, when he comes out on the field, you know, the defense from a huddle situation, they don't know what position he's going to play, right? So their defensive calls might you know, relax or get more standard or more basic, which gives us a better chance to go out and line up and run a play against maybe a more vanilla look. Um, you know, some teams decide when Taysom's in the game, hey, we're just going to bring max pressure. And so I think understanding when we get up to the ball and Taysom's in the game, particularly like when he's a quarterback, is just seeing the whole picture of the defense and understanding this is how they're going to attack us and being able to, you know, have maybe a check at the line of scrimmage of a play that works better against pressure, works better against a vanilla defense has, has been really important. But yeah, Taysom can do it all, and um, just having him out there is a huge, a huge boost to the offense because it, it provides so much unpredictability for the defense. Dennis was saying that one of the reasons they had you at guard is rather than move back to tackle was that it's kind of easier to fix one spot than maybe two. I'm wondering from yeah. the offensive lineman's perspective, like how does that, how does that affect the group when you, when as a group you know there's just one spot rather than a few being kind of. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Um, you know, letting guys play in games and practice at certain positions and just keeping as much the same as possible is going to build guys' confidence. So, um, that, you know, that was a big part of it. And um, me being the guy coming back in is just embracing my role and, you know, being excited about, hey, like Andrew's playing really well. You know, Eric's playing really well. Caesar's playing really well. Rand's playing really well. So just to come in and know that, like, those guys are doing a really good job. And uh, to come in and, and be able to maintain that level of play, um, kind of fill that spot, and um, just keep it at a high level. It's, it's really cool um, to see. And it's, it's kind of been a pretty unique opportunity. But yeah, having the consistency at positions helps a lot. It helps everyone, particularly in the confidence area. James, um, is there any like, kind of through line between why you guys have had a little bit more success in the red zone lately uh, compared to earlier in the season? Um, my first thought is probably, uh, might be biased when I say this, but our pass protection, you know, in the red zone, if you can get another half a second, another second of protection, the quarterback can go through all his reads. I think early in the year, there were many times where, you know, he felt pressure, right? And pressure in the red zone is, you don't take sacks in the red zone. Those are huge, huge plays. And so he feels pressure and just checks it down or feels pressure and he can only go through, you know, two of his four wide receivers, four of his options. So I think giving him that time has been helpful. Um, but it really just seems like, honestly, when I watch the film, as I don't know the ins and outs of wide receiver play, but the guys are just, they're getting open. Uh, we've had some good schemes where guys are just wide open based on the play design. And then we've had times where, like Alava yesterday ran the little whip route and, you know, he just ran a good route and beat his man, Derek threw him the ball. So it's, I think those two things have been, been big for us and, and have allowed us to, you know, be a different offense on the scoreboard. Um, than we were early in the season. Um, and do you know, is there like a reason y'all haven't been able to hit on a lot of explosives in the run game this year? Yeah, I think um, from an offensive line standpoint, I don't think we've done a good enough job of fitting on linebackers in the second level and maintaining those blocks. I think we're 
making contact, we're going to the right people, we're getting up, we're securing the first level, getting to the second level, and then I think the missing piece is just being able to sustain those blocks. Um, you know, the guys have done a good job against us, being able to punch and shed and make a tackle for, you know, a six-yard gain instead of a 15-yard gain. So I think that's might be the missing piece right now and something that we'll definitely have to work on in practice. Is that something that you, like, can you feel that coming? Do you think that's close? I think it is close, yeah. We have, uh, particularly this week, we saw some times where we were able to get it to the second level and, you know, the, the running back makes one guy miss and it's like, that block that we did sustain, that's now allowing us to, you know, get another five yards, ten yards. And you can see it on film. It's like so many times it's so close. The running back's getting tackled. Well, if that guy was either blocked or the running back made a miss, there's no one else, right? So we know we're close. Um, you just got to keep pushing because those explosive runs are, again, they're just going to make everything else better. With uh, one more about Taysom Hill, like, how, how weird is it just to think that he's not only the only active football player with the 10-10-10 at least. Like he's, there's only three other guys who have done it. None of them are even alive. Yeah. The, the other, I think the last one was 100 when he died last year. Um, just, is it kind of weird to think about that here's this guy across the locker room and he's the only football player alive who's, who's Yeah, who's and, and the way he carries himself, you would never know it either, which is, makes it even cooler. It's just such a unique, um, situation that you are playing on the same team as a guy that's, you know, forever being in the history books for doing something that like hardly anyone else, no one has ever done. Uh, so it's, it's really awesome to be his teammate. You know, he's a great guy, hard worker. He truly has embraced, you know, whatever position or positions they have him at. And clearly, because he's embraced that, he's able to excel, right? He has no, um, I don't know, some people might get bitter about like, oh, I want to be this or I want to be just this or just this. But he just said, you know what, like, I'm going to be the best football player I can be, and that's at, you know, 18 different positions, and I'm going to score points, um, you know, any way I can. So it's just exciting to have a guy like that, and that attitude's contagious on the team.